Welcome to Linux in under 5. Today we're going to be hot adding SCSI drives to our Red Hat box. In this case we're actually using uh, CentOS um, and VMware. So here, uh, let's go ahead and do it. So uh, in the dev directory um, you can see that we only have one drive. We have our SDA block device with two partitions. We're going to be adding uh, a new um, SATA drive um, through VMware. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to pull over our VMware console right click on the host or the guest OS and then we're going to hit add for add new hardware uh, then you're going to choose your hard disk and you're going to do create new virtual disk and this is going to be SCSI and the disk size you can make whatever you want we're going to just keep it at the default 8 now finish and hit OK that's it now we're done with that so obviously if you do an LS again you're gonna see there's the block device is not in there so actually we're gonna to have to uh, initiate a SCSI uh, rescan on the bus and uh, to do that you're just going to do echo quote dash space dash space dash end quote and then you're gonna do greater than sign to redirect the output forward slash SYS class SCSI underscore host and then you're going to use the host uh, identifier. In this case, since uh, with VMware we only have one bus, so um, it's just host zero. But if you're in a real world, you're probably going to have to, um, you know, uh, script it so it'll go through all the host devices in um, in that system. So f uh, we're just going to be using host zero. So now we're going to use the scan uh, file, and then we're going to redirect the output onto it, and that will initiate the scan. So now that's done, we should be able to see the device. So there it is. There's the new device that we that we just added a few seconds ago. So now we're going to fdisk that device real quick. Um, there's, you know, there's no partition. We're just going to create one. Start there, print, and then write it. Okay. And now we're going to mount it, or actually create the file system on it first. And do MKFS 63 dev sdb1 that's going to create the file system okay and now it's creating the journal come on okay so now uh, we can actually uh, I don't I think I might actually have a folder in there yeah, SDB. So we're going to do dev SDB1 SDB. If we go in here, we can see that there's you know nothing in here really except the lost and found directory, and that's it. Now if we do DF, yeah, there. There's there's the uh, device that we just created. Um, now uh, in the same on the same note, we can actually uh, unmount it and delete the device. Um, yeah. So now we can actually just pull over the VMware console, go to the settings remove the disk All right, so that was a hot remove but obviously if you go into the dev directory and do another ls the device is still there so now we're going to have to initiate another command to actually uh, to remove the block device from the system um, you can't just do a rescan it, it won't do anything it'll you know, the device will stay there so you have to do this one echo one redirect it to sys block and now you can do the block device in this case we're removing SDB so SDB device delete now if we LS SD star the device is gone so that's it that's that's all you need to do to hot add a device um, to to a Linux box and VMware of course um, this you know can all be applied in the real world you know depending if you have a actual um, a backplane that supports hot adding you know SCSI drives or SATA drives so that's it thank you